and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I turn my Hubson H107C to an FPV quad. Stay tuned. So since you clicked on this video, I can assume that you definitely love your Hubson H107. I mean, this quad is what got me into the hobby. Well, actually, I started with the original H107L, which did not have a camera. And I ended up crashing that into a tree. But after so many times, and I after that, I ended up getting my H107C, which actually ended up coming with the camera, this one actually right here, which I took out to reduce some weight and put in the FPV cam. I mean, it's super stable when it needs to be. It's extremely zippy when you really want to go on rate two. I mean, I just can't express how awesome this looks in FPV with the amount of zip this quad has. So yeah, let's get started. So for this build, I ended up going, I bought this off of Amazon. I got this Wolf Whoop WT05 Micro AIO FPV camera. This is, I believe, 25 milliwatts. And yeah, so pretty much this is an, an all-in-one camera. It has the transmitter, the FPV camera, and the antenna already built in. And one thing that really made me choose this camera was how light it was. I mean, this thing is 3.4 grams completely built. So, when compared to the original, let me put that in perspective for you. So, this, along with the little cage that this uses to attach to the, to the body, is around 4-ish, a little over 4 grams. So, by doing this mod, you pretty much even save weight on your quad. So, pretty much the, the extra power that's going to be used for the antenna, I mean, you can save on the amount of weight that you're going to be saving from not carrying this camera around, this module. But yeah, let me put this away and let me show you how I actually put the camera on there. So before you get ahead of yourself, um, let me just say right off the bat, I mean, getting this camera on here was a lot of trial and error for me just because this was the first time I ever attempted a project like this. I mean, you can see right here, I singed, you know, the body. And honestly, the reason I, I didn't care too much was I mean, the body has cracks all over the place. I mean, you can see right here on the leg. I mean, this is just a hairline from breaking off. So I didn't, I didn't care too much about the body. I mean, I can order a new one, probably on Banggood for maybe three, six dollars on Amazon. So I didn't care too much about that. So let, I will be telling you how I mounted on, how you can mount it on here. So you don't end up with a lot of trial and error that I did. So pretty much the best way I found to mount this on here was to take off the front head, which pretty much goes here for where the eyes are. So just cut off this whole front area and that would open enough room for you to put your camera. So originally I had the idea of putting it down here when, where the original camera was mounted and as you can see that didn't really go too well. I mean, I sent here, since here, a lot of trial and error so what I ended up doing was actually hanging it up higher using these rubber bands for a couple of reasons um, since the camera is hanging around here when it hits down here it's not gonna hit the camera directly other than that it's just an easy way to remove the camera if I ever want to remove it so did I solder this yes can I take it off easily yes and I will show you why so originally this camera comes with the actual connector soldered on right here. This is the one that goes directly into the camera. And then what I ended up in, it also comes with an adapter, one that looks like this to this port. So I ended up thinking to myself, if I ever want to use the camera on a different device or I just want to swap it out, how easy can I make this for me? So when that, when I, what I ended up doing was actually taking the cable and running it right under the board right here as you can see so what i ended up doing is just loosen two screws on the board and just lift up the board carefully and then slide the, the cable right under and then put the screws back and then pretty much you once you have the cables here you take the other side of the adapter or this one and then you just solder it the you cut that that end off and you can save it for a different project but pretty much the other end of that adapter, see right here? If I ever want to take this off, all I have to do is just disconnect this cable and the whole camera will come out. So 
where I soldered this is right here. Let me show you so you guys can take a good look. So pretty much right here, I have my negative terminal. And then right on the corner, the last point right here, you that's your positive terminal. That's where you get on top of your one of your motors. That's where you're going to solder this point for your camera. I mean, it's if you have a good soldering iron, and I don't mean good as in expensive. I mean good as in, you know, the tip gets hot enough. Honestly, this is just touch, touch, and you're pretty much done. I mean, just tin your wires, your wires correctly, and honestly, this is was very easy to do. So flight time. How did adding this FPV camera affect my flight time? So for this quad, right now I am using a 380 mAh 3.7 volt 25C tattoo battery. So this is not the one that came with Hubson. This is actually a little bigger one, but this one works just perfectly. And I'm able to get roughly around six minutes of flight time. And that's actually pretty good considering that, um, you know, it, it's modified, you know, it has an FPV signal and yeah but considering that you have a couple of these lying around i mean you can fly for a pretty long time in fpv i mean just you, it's awesome so yeah let's see have i missed anything so pretty much the gist of it is take these two screws out shell pops off then you're gonna be be careful because if you don't want to rip your camera the original anyway i mean i assume you would want to keep it you know you could use it for a project so this one when you take this half off, you're gonna see these two wires. So be careful when you pull it off so you, so you don't rip them right off the board. So when you pop this off, pretty much, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is desolder the board, the original board, just to, make it, just to make it easier so you can get this half off. So you're gonna to wanna to desolder and where you're gonna desolder is pretty much the same place you're gonna put your new wires. So here you're gonna desolder this negative, you're gonna desolder the positive terminal and then this whole top is going to come off with the board so from this half you're going to pretty much unscrew the cage it's a black cage with uh, four screws so it's going to be on this half of the quad this little the bottom half and then you're going to take that off and that will pretty much leave you with right here with an empty you know encasing with more than enough room for, I would say, a bigger battery and in addition, you know, your camera. So, yeah. So, I'm going to be showing you a couple clips. Um, the goggles I have currently, they don't have a DVR. So, it's pretty much just going to be a recording of what it looks like through the goggles, through the camera. Just so you can get an idea of what, what to expect from this FPV cam. Yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. So, stay tuned for the clip. And I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please press that like button if you want to see more content or if you want to suggest stuff you want me to discuss or go over, just let me know in the comments section. Um, I try to stay as current as I can, um, get back to you guys as soon as I can. And yeah, enjoy the clip.